Hello and welcome to another Zach Garnish video and this time we're just doing a little bit of a talk about updates to the rules and how they are going to be making me happier. Okay, so with the current rule set we have missions which we roll for and you've got a 1 in 6 chance of getting whichever one you want. Uh, in some of these missions you've got, like the scouring, you've got fast attack units which will become scoring, uh, big guns never tie, you get heavy support which becomes scoring. So your army build and what units you end up using can actually have a very serious effect on the game through luck because it might just be you might put uh play necrons and want to um specialize with loads of fast attack units because their fast attack is arguably the best part of their codex here we go the codex necron codex fast attack units are awesome in this codex um whereas they might not be so good in another codex and whether or not you do get the scouring and then get that massive advantage of having awesome fast attack units which can become scoring is all up to a die roll. Okay, so what's the difference about 7th edition? The difference with 7th edition is we're going to be having tactical objectives. These are going to be objective cards. Um, I'm not quite, quite sure about how they're going to be handed out and distributed and how the whole system is going to work. But from what I've been hearing, basically we're going to get a system where you will receive these objective cards and you get to pick some of them one some of the ones that you want to use and you you have to complete whatever it says on the cards so it might be like have a unit in the table corner or kill the warlord or um, get the first kill or maybe eliminate some part of their army and I think this is a really good idea because it means that you actually get to affect the way that you're playing in the game because it's not so much up to um, it's not so much up to a single die roll that's going to affect the entire uh, entire battle. It's really up to your choice and what you know you're good at manipulating your army to do and what you're playing against. You know, you can judge, oh, okay, he's playing space marines, I'm not going to be able to kill them so easily, so maybe I should, you know, just go for one where I'm going to sit in the corner and uh, if I get in the corner then I'll be good. So, um, yeah, I think moving towards these tactical objectives and on the objective cards that they got, so coming out, uh, shipping on the 24th of May, which is going to be really soon, so this is just cool. Uh, I'm going to have to get a copy of the rule book at some point, but it'll probably be in July, actually. Um, which is a shame, because <laughs> I want to get some stuff done on it. Uh, but yeah, unless, you know, anyone of you wants to donate, which would be awesome, but unlikely. So, uh, yeah, if you've got any comments or suggestions on how you play or uh, what you think of the new tactical objective system, don't forget you can always leave your comments in the comment section down below. I do try and read them and reply to them as often as possible. Uh, but if I don't get to you, I'm really sorry about that. You know, just pester me with more comments and I'll get back to you. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe because it really helps motivate me. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video.